So light these are guys. These are freaking sweet. We're uh, backward for a while on that last run. I will have a link down to these below. Apex is one of my affiliates, so I do get a little percentage back on that if you guys buy through my link, so I do appreciate that. Bros, check these out. Look at this. Ooh, yeah. The new VS5 RSs. Freaking sick. Look at the like carved little scalloped area right here. All of this stuff is just like machined out to make them nice and lightweight. Even on the bolt flange, uh, it's even machined out here. So this is an 18 by 11 ET25. These are gonna be the fronts. And then I have an ET44 for the, um, for the rears. So I'm actually going to mount up just this one 315 30R18 Nanking AR1. It's a used one that I have. I want to see if I can't run these absolute thick boys on the front. I'd like to run a 315 squared. That's the goal. I have a set of 275 Toyo RRs that I may just throw on the wheels for a track day and just kind of use those. There's a set of scrubs. But if I can fit this, it'd be awesome. So I'm actually just going to get one mounted up and see how it works. We've been redoing the house throwing away a bunch of stuff so we got some organizational stuff got some dental books over here from uh rachel's school that's right i don't know where are we gonna put it on the pressure's cargo back there. It's looking good. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite things about this car, the AC, oh, in those air-conditioned seats. Yeah, yo. I want to go fast. Out here in South Sac, Iraq, you go to my favorite little shop right over there. Southwest Tire. Chris over there always hooks it up. They always do a great job on mounting tires out here in Sacramento. So, hell yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to just basically get the proper fitment on this stuff and uh, we'll see what happens. So I have, I just have a used, one of my used AR1. Yeah, 305 fits, no problem. 315 people do it, but um, they need like- A little more camber? Right? Yeah, a little bit more camber and then um, possibly custom control arms but i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna see what happens Sheesh, look at this bad boy Ooh. look at that fucking beautiful light light way huh it's pretty good forged Absolutely sick. Can't wait to hopefully mount that on the car. We're gonna see. I think I need 15, 12 to 15 to possibly a 20 millimeter spacer. So I may have to change up the spacers. I think I'm running a 15 millimeter spacer on the car right now. So let's try it out. Meat. This looks so freaking sick. Now, the one thing I don't like about black wheels or matte black wheels is they don't photograph super well, like extremely well on a car because they kind of just tend to just turn black, if you will, and it doesn't really 
the contrast just kind of hides the actual shapes and the styles of the wheels but oh man these things are gonna look absolutely sick i'm really hoping this fits but you can see it is very square on the front not really any bulge or anything so i'm thinking this is actually gonna work honestly all right guys so later on i'm gonna wait a little bit and then i'll try slapping these onto the front i gotta move a couple things obviously i have all the boxes over here and everything um because i didn't want to get them all mounted up but i am getting tpms sensors in the wheels i highly recommend just to spend the money and get the tpms sensors oh you don't have a light on your car not to say i don't have like 10 lights on my car right now from all the other things i haven't deleted or coated out from coilovers and all that stuff but the tire pressure monitor thing is actually really nice to have uh, i like it because it tells you track temperatures or uh, temperatures psi of your tires on track which is really cool um so you can know like oh yeah my front right has 40 psi on it i think i'll pull off the track because i'm just toasting this bad boy i don't ever run these because they melt on track um, anybody that tracks their car knows you don't run the center cap so that's kind of why uh you see cars without the center caps i think that's one of the main reasons ray's wheels doesn't uh sell center caps or they don't come with the wheels but anyways that looks pretty damn good those look so clean i love it so currently i'm rocking 315s in the rear with the et44 and these are uh 18 by 10s 18 by 10 or 18 by 10 and a half they're not 18 by 11s i think they're 18 by 10s up front and uh i think the et on these is plus 27 i don't even remember i really don't remember but hopefully this works out i have a decent sized spacer on here you can see it's very very flush so hopefully with the spacer, um, it'll work out. I have this Armashield uh, ceramic coat. I actually do have some wheel specific ceramic coat, but you know what? I wanna try this stuff because they sent it out to me. Um, I have a code down to this below too, guys, if you guys are interested in ceramic coating your own car. This is really for paint, but um, while I got this, we'll go ahead and just ceramic coat the wheels, get those all done. Drops going on here. Routed out areas right here that lightens up the wheel and everything so got the ceramic coat uh, drying on here gonna wipe off the excess in a minute and I'm gonna hit the rest of these wheels 15 millimeters worth of spacer it's about lined up also you can see 315 is pretty damn fat 315 is pretty pretty fat 315 also looks a little bit lower. You can see I got quite a bit more poke, so let's see see how it fits. Okay, so currently this is the wheel sock. It's 295 on the front of this, but you can see it's an 18 by 10. And that's the uh that's the poke right there. So pretty flush. Car could be a little lower. And here's this guy right here. It's a little monster trucky. There's a little bit of poke there. Yeah, need some more negative canvas to uh, tuck it in. Also, mind if the car is a little lower. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna take the car to the roundabout. Uh, video coming up on this too, guys, if you notice that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just see if my little clover over here will make any rubbing noises so so far i haven't heard any rubbing actually um i have a feeling that when the suspension compresses it tucks so that is good um a little bit more negative camber would look a little better and a little lower but yeah um overall that's good so far got the uh tires all up in the back um so we're doing a full swap i have sorry about the air guys it's like 97 degrees outside probably gonna be 107 today um, so I have the Toyo RRs back here, 
And then I'm gonna be switching over from the AR1s. So I'm gonna take the two rears that I currently have on my AR1 and I'm gonna put those on the front. And then the front and an extra one that I have, I'm gonna put those on the rear because they're more worn out. I want more grip on the front. I know it sounds weird, but my car is understeering and uh, that wang will settle the thing. And if I need more grip, I'll just add more downforce because uh, those tires seem to be pretty sticky in the rear actually. Pretty much only rotates in the rear under, uh, under throttle, which is what I want it to do. So, uh, yeah, the RRs, we're gonna try those out on the EC7s. And then the AR1 315 squared is gonna go on the VS5 RSs. Let's go get these things slapped on, get those new wheels on, do a little flip flopping, and uh, finally get this done. Believe it or not, it's taken a long time uh, to do this. It's been like two weeks or something. I don't know, I just did one wheel, been just putting off ceramic coating because it's been hot. Hot, hot, and uh, today's the day, so let's get this done. So wait, if you take the rear seat out of the car, fit at least three tires back here. On the way back, we're gonna try to fit three in the rear, one in the cage, and then one in the trunk uh, for a full set. We'll see how that goes, I don't know. I think I've done it before, but I can't remember. I may have to come back to the tire store one last time. Little bricks. Oh wait, they're giant. Well guys, I think it looks so aggressive and good. Uh, I could use a little bit more camber in the front. We could lower this, we could get the, uh, the fitment looking a little better there, but you know what? It's not about fitment, honestly. It's about going fast on the racetrack. So uh, yeah, that looks good. Wow, these rears look freaking sick. Fitment on those is absolutely perfect. That's with a 12 millimeter spacer in the rear with the 315. ET44 looks so damn good. Look at that. Freaking 315 squared, guys. Beef. Well, I got another wheel and tire party in the back. Uh, one last trip to the tire shop. Go ahead and get this car washed. Uh, get these things all back into the garage. I gotta clean up the M4. Then we gotta do a little glamour shoot um, of those things. And then, I guess, Maybe I'll try to schedule next week or something. Um, getting an alignment, maybe, and lowering the front. Maybe. I don't have to, but it would look better. Even though it's not about looks, but it's about going faster. And I think if I lower the front, the arrow is going to work better. It's going to push down better on the splitter. I feel like the splitter might be kind of like acting backwards. I don't know. I, I do know it was working though, because on track, I took the wing off. And the front was definitely working. So maybe the square setup will kind of fix my front grip issue. I know, you know, 315s all around, it's gonna be a lot better. Obviously a 295 is going to be more of that understeer pushy setup. So yeah, Thunderhill East coming up. Gotta get into the 55s. I think it was 50, low 57s or was I 56s? I wanna get into the 55s, that'd be nice.